if things are really good, people will notice that and they will want a piece of that. I like to use uh, the metaphor of what we call the law of Nemesis. Nemesis was a Greek goddess. She was the goddess of retribution. The goddess would look down at the mortals on the earth. She would recognize, wow, Brian has all the luck. Everything good happens for Brian. You know, that's not fair. So there will be some retribution. So if you have a gas station on a corner and you're making lots and lots of money, guess what's going to happen soon? What's gas station? On the other corner, there will be a gas station. So Nemesis will rear her head and strike down that great idea. You have to have defensive strategies to protect your intellectual capital, to protect your positions, to keep, you know, set up barriers to entry. You've got to do all you can because the law of Nemesis says nothing good lasts indefinitely because others are going to want to share it. Price advantages, for example, are rapidly countered. Technological changes are quickly available to competitors. Different studies say 60 to 90 percent of learning leading to process improvements at one factory eventually diffuses out. So you have good ideas. As best you can, you want to protect your ideas. So this is the Wharton model of competitive advantage. First of all, you know, you want to invest in new ideas and you want to find sources of competitive advantage and you measure your success with your key success factors you've uh, achieved something and then you reward so there's a kind of an organizational design process going on you get better and better with experience but at the same time what's also happening is that nemesis is out there wanting to take that positional advantage away from you because competitive advantages are always going to tend to erode. That's the law of nemesis. So there's things that you've got to do. You've got to set up barriers to entry to your competitors. Sometimes that's with lawyers and sometimes secrecy and whatever. And then you've got to monitor what's going on. What are the changes in the environment that are threats to us? What are the things that you know, will give advantages to others? Are we getting behind on our technology and so forth? So you need both offensive strategy and a defensive strategy.